Alright, this is Caitlin's video. And I've got the capo on here for the uh, Taylor Swift song, but I'm going to take it off for a second. Um, and I, what I'm going to do, what we did today is we first learned how to read uh, chord charts. We had already learned our, some chords, so it was easy to learn the chord charts because then you just would look up at them and and recognize where you were putting your fingers. So I kind of taught you backwards on that. Sorry about that. But it worked. So there we have our chord charts on the top of our sheet. And you can look at those charts and play the chords and, and just make sure that you understand those chord charts because uh, then we'll learn new chords like that. When we learn a new chord, I'll put it on a chart for you, okay? And then I sh under right underneath that, I have a little line to the E minor, and it shows how that same chord would be written in tablature. And all six strings would sound at the same time in a chord like that. So when you strum it, so there I've written them all on top of each other because they're all to be played at the same time. Or When they're written all, when all the notes, any notes written on top of each other in tablature, means that they're played at the same time, that they're written in the same uh, vertical space. Okay, and then we started talking about uh, finger picking, and we we're doing this little Travis pick, and we put a D chord on, and right in the middle of the page there, kind of, I showed you what a D chord looks like in tablature. And again, everything's written on top of each other, and they're X'd out. Uh, the sixth and fifth strings are X'd out, meaning we don't really play those when we play a chord. Right, we try to stay away from that, although the fifth string wouldn't be the end of the world because it's the five but of the chord. But we're aiming basically for the fourth, third, second, and first strings when we play a D chord. For now, anyway. And then underneath that is the Travis pick. So you could see how the D chord tablature is all on top of each other. The string, the notes are all played at the same time. In Travis picking or finger picking, the notes are plucked one at a time. And we have a little guide there down at the bottom right that says P equals thumb, I equals index, and then M is the middle. And then we aren't using our ring finger, but if we were, it would be in classical notation, that ring finger would be notated with an A. So you think PIMA, okay? P-I-M-A. And so for our finger picking, Travis picking, we're only going to use P, I, and M. So here I am at the tablature there in the bottom stanza, and it's going to be thumb on the fourth string open, index. Uh, oh, and I want to talk about right hand fan position a little bit. So we talked about not having the problem of uh, index finger bumping into our thumb. So what we do, make sure our thumb is slid uh, forward. And what you'll notice is when I do that, uh, yeah, I get a little angle right in here. Not much of one, but thumb ahead. So that we can see our thumb like this. And then index and middle fingers kind of behind. And what we're going to start with before we uh, play each individual note is pinching. So we can see our fingers go by each other. Otherwise, if that thumb wasn't ahead, what would happen? It would bump into it before we pinch, right? So we got to have it so that when we pinch, they go right by each other. Okay? So do that a few times. Then we're going to play the Travis pick individually here. And a I M A on the right hand fingers. You try. And me. And you try that again. Then the idea is to make these continuous, even if we, I don't expect you to do them fast. Just so 
I just played that four times, which is how many times I wrote it on the uh, bottom stanza there. And when I play that, we count this like this. Every thumb is a one, two, three, four, and every index finger or middle finger is the and. So I'm just going to sound like this. One, and, two, and, three, and, four, and. So what I wrote down at the bottom of that page is one measure. So if we were doing You Belong With Me, and it has two measures of D, we have to pick that finger pick four times as, as one measure, so we'd have to pick it eight times, or two times four for two measures, right? So I go, one, two, three, four, then A, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, then the E minor, So that's kind of the idea of Travis picking, and I think that'll do it. That's about it. I can't think of anything else, can you? All right.